Hey everyone, welcome to the Real Deal video blog and this week I want to talk about breaking down barriers. So it seems like pretty much everyone has some kind of obstacle getting in the way of their recovery. They have one reason or another why they just can't get sober. It can be pretty much anything. Some people have jobs and they simply can't take the time off to go to detox or go to inpatient treatment or they can't afford it. Uh, maybe they have kids or family who rely on them and they just can't get away. They just can't take the time. Uh, maybe they've got friends or a relationship that's toxic and keeps pulling them back in every time they want to better their lives. That, that ex-girlfriend or boyfriend calls up or, or that old friend group just, just draws them back in and, and it's either do drugs or be lonely. Uh, maybe they live in a place that doesn't have a strong recovery community, so, so they're stuck. They simply can't get sober because there are no recovery resources around them, and it's not their fault. Uh, people who aren't quite ready to get sober will give you all kinds of excuses why they just can't do it. Why a certain program or pathway to recovery just doesn't work for them. You know, they don't believe in God, so they simply can't do the 12 steps and, and they're going to keep drinking alcohol or shooting heroin because, uh, because only the people who believe in God can get help through this program. Or, uh, you know, there's, there's a million excuses like this. Uh, you know, the group therapy just doesn't work for them. Uh, med taking medication for their mental illness doesn't work for them. So they're just going to suffer through it and be totally dysfunctional. Um, at the end of the day, uh, people will give you a million different excuses why recovery isn't working for them. And I hate to say it, but that's exactly what they are. They're excuses. I don't want to be harsh about it, but, but it's the truth. Pretty much every single person who, who gets sober has some kind of barrier standing in the way of that recovery. And yet when you talk to people, when you look at the statistics, there are millions of people in the United States living in successful long-term recovery. So how do they do it if every single one of them had something that was standing in their way? Well, it's not exactly a secret. It's not exactly rocket science. They found a way to overcome their barriers. No matter how big that barrier was, no matter how impossible the problem seemed, they worked their way through it. And that's what recovery is all about at the end of the day. It's about breaking down barriers, emotional, mental, physical, you know, whatever kind of objections that you have to, to whatever it is, whatever your hangups are, you're gonna have to work through them. Think about it this way. So you've got this barrier standing in your way and it's pretty big, right? It's, it's one of the situations that I talked about earlier. It's the reason that you totally just can't go to treatment or can't go to meetings and work the steps and, and you can only do what you, know, what you feel like doing, what you're comfortable doing. Uh, recovery just won't work for you. And what if someone came up to you and told you that they would kill you if you didn't do it? You'd, you'd probably find a way to get to that meeting and find a sponsor if, uh, if someone was holding a gun to your head, right? Well, addiction pretty much is exactly that. Addiction is death. People are dying to this disease every single day. A lot of people. It is not an exaggeration to say that people are dropping like flies all over the country, all over the world. Uh, so my question is, are you really going to let whatever is standing in your way just kill you? Are you going to lie down and, and just let it run over you? Are you going to let yourself die and, and along the way let down those people who, who care about you, who just want the best for you when, when there's a way out right in front of you and you're, and you're just simply not willing to do it? You're just going to make excuses and, and, and avoid the truth? Well, I think when I put it that way, uh, it, it may sound harsh, but, but I think it's, it's pretty simple and, and it's really not so bad after all. Uh, it turns out that no obstacle is worth dying over. So, so maybe there are some people who, who sit through meetings, who go to treatment centers, even though they really don't want to, even though they don't feel like it, even though at times it's, it's very uncomfortable and there's a million things that they'd rather be doing, but they're doing it anyway because people who have been there and and found their way into recovery are living proof of 
of what is possible, of what can happen when you break through those barriers. And, and these more experienced people are always shaking their head at the newcomers who have a million excuses why things just aren't working out for them. But, but things look a lot better on the other side. You just have to break through.